Around the world, millions of people have been watching the rescue of the miners in Chile. So far, 20 of the 33 miners have been returned to their loved ones. Two people who've been watching very intently are Beaconsfield miners, Brant Webb and Todd Russell. Good morning to both of you. Morning, Pretty emotional uh, 20 hours or so for you watching all of this unfold. Yeah, look, yesterday was uh, quite emotional for us, uh, especially when the first miner emerged to the surface. Uh, brought back a lot of old memories for Brent and myself. Can you um, tell us what that moment was like for you, Todd, when you emerged and you realised that not only your wife and, and children were there waiting for you, but the world was waiting for you? What What is that moment like? Yeah, Lisa, it's a, it's a funny one and it's something we've uh, we've tried to explain you know, over the last four and a half years. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to explain that that feeling uh, of relief and uh, uh, enjoyment when you, you, you meet the family for the first time after such a long time. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to, able to uh, elaborate on it, but it's just a feeling that I'll have with me for the rest of my life. And I'm sure Brand will have the same sort of feeling. In amongst all of the emotions, Brand, elation would obviously be there, <clears throat> but I'm sure it's also important that you be able to have a moment for yourself. We saw one of the miners um, this morning, he knelt down and prayed and everybody stood back and just allowed him to do whatever it was he felt the need to do. And it was a very emotional moment for everyone watching. What do you think he would have been going through then? Yeah, no, he would have been pretty excited to be out. I mean, uh, you know, we've got ourselves we're pretty excited when we got out, as you can see by the footage there. But at the same time, you know, um, it was a very emotional for us watching that first guy come out because, you know, we'd been on the inside looking out and for the first time, we'd, now we were on the outside looking in. So, um, and we had this, we felt, we knew what he was feeling, you know, because we'd been there. So it was, um, it was a pretty emotional day yesterday. You, um, you both wrote a letter to the miners, which we know went down to them. What, what sort of reaction have you had to that letter? Do you know? Well, it was the, the feedback that we're getting was uh, really positive um, on our behalf because of the guys. They, they weren't aware of the situation that happened in, in Beaconsfield four years ago, um, but it was, they were just happier to know that they had colleagues that had been in the similar circumstances to what they have gone through and, you know, came out at the end of it with a great result to, to give them encouragement and support. Indeed. Well, we know that uh, 20 of uh, the miners are out now. Number 21 is Yoni. Now, this is the one that the world has been waiting for. That's uh, that's apparently Yoni there waiting for the Phoenix to uh, d to descend so he can make his trip back up. Do you think Yoni has any idea of what's ahead? I think, I think Yoni was the one trying to dig his way out further down deeper yesterday but anyway well there was some suggestion that he was next going to be seen in china as he yeah. went backwards i believe so well, well i think um i think the jubilation and you know the the emotions will take over him and you know he might have both arms out with both of them there Who that's knows? right you'll just get um more hugs than, than <laughs> some of the others will todd and brett we've got you with us throughout the morning so thanks very much for your insight but uh we'll talk to you again in the next hour as more of those miners emerge Thanks for that. Over to you, Cam. All right. Looking